Here we've got a single inlet, single exit control volume. I'll draw out the schematic right now. So we have an inlet over here, exit over here, and we're told that the working agent is air. So now a few givens. So we have at the inlet, the pressure is 6 bar, the temperature is 300 Kelvin, the velocity is 30 meters per second, and the area at the inlet is 28 centimeters squared. Meanwhile, at the exit, we're given a pressure of 3 bar, a temperature of 456.5 Kelvin, and an exit velocity of 300 meters per second. Now, one other thing you're told is that the air can be treated as an ideal gas, so the relation PV equals NRT or PV equals MRT is valid. Now, the next thing we're told is that we're looking for the mass flow rate, so obviously we're going to be using the rate form of the ideal gas loss. We're just going to put M dot and V dot in the equation. So to find that mass flow rate, we can just rearrange and say that M dot is equal to the pressure times the uh, volumetric flow rate divided by the gas constant times the temperature. So now let's go ahead and start filling in these variables. So I'm just going to write it down below. M dot is equal to, so the pressure we're given is 6 bar. Just remember that when you're working with uh, the ideal gas law, you just want to convert this into absolute, so that'd be uh, 600 kilopascals. You always want to use kilopascals in the ideal gas law for SI. So we're going to have 600. Now to find the volumetric flow rate, just remember this expression. So you have V dot, or the volumetric flow rate, is equal to the velocity times area. And the way you can verify that is just remember that the unit for this is meters cubed per second, and that's equal to meters per second times meters squared. And as you can see, that turns out to be the same unit. So we can substitute this V dot with the velocity and the area. So we're just going to put 30 meters per second times. So another thing we're given is 28 centimeters. So we do have to convert that into meters squared or yeah, meters squared since it's area. So to do that, you just divide by 100 twice and you're going to be left with 0 0.0028 meters squared. And of course, the reason you're dividing twice is because you have to get rid of the centimeters squared, not just centimeters. So you're, you have 30 times 0 0.0028 and that's meters squared. And now you have everything on the top. Now on the bottom, just remember that to find the gas constant, I'll write it over here. You have R is equal to the universal gas constant, RU, divided by the molar mass. And for air in this case, you have the uh, universal gas constant of 8.3143 divided by 28.93. And that equates to 0 0.287. That's going to be in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So we can substitute that back into here. So 0 0.287 is our R value. And very simply, our temperature is in Kelvin. So we're given at 300 Kelvin. So now we just multiply all of this out. And we find that the mass flow rate, m dot, is equal to 0 0.3512, and that's going to be in kilograms per second. So that is part A. Now, part B is pretty much the same concept. You're just asked to find the exit flow rate. So we can use this formula once again, right over here, the PV equals MRT. So let me rewrite that. So you have, we'll call it P2V2. Is equal to m dot r t two. So mass flow rate is equal. So we're not going to call it m two, since it's one inlet, one outlet, and then r is going to be just the gas constant. So it's not going to change. Now we're looking for the area in this case. So we're going to have to do some substitution here. So remember how I said that. So you drop pressure again, and then the uh, volumetric flow rate. We use the equation of v dot or volumetric flow rate is equal to velocity times area from above. So we just substitute that into here. So we have times the velocity by the area is equal to the mass flow rate 
times the universal gas constant, or just the gas constant actually, times the temperature at the exit. Now we just solve for the area. So you have the area is equal to the mass flow rate times the gas constant times the temperature divided by the pressure as well as the velocity. And we do have everything here. So now all we have to do is plug everything in. So remember that the mass flow rate we just solved for 0 0.3512 kilograms per second. Gas constant was 0. 287 kilojoules per kilogram kelvin and the temperature was uh, we have 456.5 and that's kelvin we're going to divide that by the pressure so three bar just times 100 again in kilopascals so we have 300 kilopascals and the velocity is 300 meters per second now, when you plug all this into a calculator, you'll have that the area is equal to 0 0.000511. And remember that the unit we're using here is going to be in meters, so that's going to be meters squared. However, the problem asks you for centimeters squared. So you just multiply this by 100 twice, and you have the area. Whoops. The area is equal to 5.11 centimeters squared.